President Biden's message of unity is resonating across the country and right here in the triad. WFM News News Alma McCarty asked local faith leaders about the overarching message. President Joe Biden's inaugural speech focused on the importance of unity to repair, to restore, to heal our nation. He acknowledged that some may see this as a foolish fantasy, but local faith leaders are hopeful it can be a reality. My whole soul is in it. Today, on this January day, my whole soul is in this. They're uniting our people, uniting our nation. And I ask every American to join me in this cause. It was a call to action from President Joe Biden just weeks after turmoil and terror on January 6th. It is the worst of who we are. It is not the best of who we are. And so to be able to two weeks later look at that same physical space and witnessing something so different was just hopeful to me. The differences were striking to Pastor Kim Pretty of Sedgefield Presbyterian Church in Greensboro. As a leader of faith, I wanted her to take on President Biden's message of unity. In such a divided nation, how can we achieve it? I also asked that question to Greensboro pastors Daryl Aaron of Providence Baptist and Alan Schraus of First Baptist Church. We come around the communion table. We come around the fellowship table. We come around these spaces. Um, churches need to create these spaces so that we can have hard conversations so that we can get to the heart of the matter of what we perceive um, divides us. I think our challenge, and I think Biden's challenge for unity was a way of saying there are enough people who continue to believe and, stern, and stand firm and hold fast to the principles of democracy. We have the chance to, to get about important business together and common work and a common ethic. And I think that is the best way uh, to find what unites us amidst the important differences that we have. A message of finding common ground to listen, learn, and solve real problems to move forward. Alma McCarty, WFMY News 2.